So, you want to know a little more about scaffolding and the zone of proximal development. The terms were first associated with a theorist called Vygotsky. Vygotsky believed that knowledge is constructed through social interaction with family, friends, teachers and peers. The people who help us learn are our most knowledgeable others, or MKOs for short. The process by which we learn is through focusing on themes that are within our zone of proximal development. So, what is this zone of proximal development? Look at it this way. There are three zones. The first is what we already know. If all your teacher were doing in class was in this zone, you might become easily bored because it's something you can already do independently. In contrast, if your teacher pitched content far too high for you to achieve, even with help, you would probably give up and your self-confidence would suffer. These two zones are either side of the target zone, called the zone of proximal development. If your teacher or MKO pitched material within this zone, you might find it difficult and challenging, but with their help, you would succeed. Of course, as you progress, your ZPD will move forward, allowing you to tackle progressively more complex topics. Next, we'll look at scaffolding. So, what is scaffolding? Scaffolding is just the support your most knowledgeable other will use within the zone of proximal development to help you achieve your aims. It consists of a number of different principles. Firstly, building interest in the subject and engaging the learner. Secondly, breaking the task into smaller chunks for the learner. Thirdly, focusing the learner on the subtasks but keeping them interested in the main task. And finally, supporting by modeling ways of completing the task so that learners can internalize it. So finally, how would you use all of this in your classroom? Firstly, check your students' prior knowledge to find out where their zone of proximal development is. You could also use peer knowledge and experience to help support the others. And remember to break down the main task into smaller stepping stone tasks which will help them achieve the main task. Have high expectations of your students and always try and stretch and challenge them to further their zone of proximal development. And finally, always try and put in place mechanisms to support or scaffold as your students build on their own knowledge. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of this theory. Good luck!